Hello guys, what is good? It's your boy Jamong here back again with another video and today well we got a super fire pickup from sneakers I am so excited for this unboxing. I cannot believe that I finally got a W on this. Now you guys already know what it is based on the title of the video. So yeah, I cannot wait for us to talk about the shoe for me to take it out and to review it with you guys. But before I go ahead and do that, I wanted to ask you guys if you can take a second out of your day, if you're not already, to hit that subscribe button. Guys, I checked my YouTube stats and basically 97% of you guys that are watching Watching are not subscribed to my channel and that's a huge amount that means only 3% of y'all are actually subscribers so if you can please 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 do me the huge favor of subscribing to my channel I put in a lot of work for you guys and I really try to make this channel grow and don't get me wrong it's a lot of fun I truly enjoy making videos but if you guys could help me take that step further please 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 just take a second just to hit that subscribe button it does not take a ton of time and I would very much enjoy and appreciate your support. But going back to the video, I cannot believe that I have this pair in hand. So yeah, let's just get the box open. Oh man, you just love to see this box. Whoa. As you guys can see, we do have a cream Nike box with brown Nike text all around it. If you guys know, you know this is an insane collaboration. Man, this feels great. Even the box just feels good. I am so hyped for this. Let's pop open the box. All right. Oof. And we do have the pink wrapping paper you could love to see it i love to see it and in three two one oh it's double wrapped all right three two one okay well this is a big fail but in three two one sheesh oh yes let's go Woo. These are absolutely fire. Straight fire, guys. I cannot believe I'm seeing this with my own eyes. Oh, man, these look good. So as you guys can see, we do have the Travis Scott Jordan 1s in the medium olive colorway. Oh, man, these are actually so beautiful. Can't believe that this is actually happening. All right, before we get into the shoe, let's actually go over the box. The box always has really nice details. So typically when it comes to Cactus Jack and Jordan collabs, they have the color of the sneaker on the box. For some reason this time, they didn't do that whole theme. Instead, they just gave us the classic cream and brown box. That's fine, not really that big of a deal, but in the past they have done different things with the box. And then as you open the box, we have the wrapping paper in that pink coloring on it we do have the cactus jack logo followed by another cactus jack logo like the little face the nike air and then the air jordan wings logo which all kind of sum up this collaboration of the sneaker so basically before i go over the shoe i actually made a wish that i would score a w on this specific pair. The night before, I was just kind of like on my phone, and then I saw that the time was 11.11. Now, for those of you guys who are familiar with 11.11, when it's 11.11, you make a wish. And the immediate wish that I thought of was like, oh, I just wish for my future to be good, that I'll be able to like, get a good job in the future and all that. But then I said, wait, I have enough of those kind of wishes. Let me just wish for something that is on the short term end of my life. And I was like, hmm, what do I want to wish for? And then I thought about it. Well, the Travis's are dropping on sneakers the next day. So if I could just get a W on that, that's all I would really want at the moment. And then the next day I wake up for the drop. I go on the sneakers app, join the raffle. 
and then I win. And I just couldn't believe my eyes that I actually got it. But for those of you guys who know me pretty well or have been a part of my channel for a long time, you do know that I hold the Travis Scott Jordan 1s very close to my heart as a sneakerhead. But I wanted to apologize in advance if you're hearing this story for the 20th time. But basically in short, when the first Travis Scott Jordan 1 Mocha is released in 2019, and I actually went for that release, I somehow got a W on that. This pair that I have right here is not that pair. I basically got that pair in a size 13, and at the time, these sneakers were going for so much money. Now, size 13s were actually going for like the least amount, but it was still a generous profit. So in short, I got the size 13s in hand, but I decided to sell them. And instead of holding on to them, which their prices would have gone up a lot more, I sold them for about like 700 bucks. I sold them on GOAT, so definitely after like the payout fees, I only left with like maybe like 650 bucks. I regretted it instantly. And I thought to myself, you know, this Travis Scott was a nice sneaker. I should have just traded it in for my own size and kept it. And eventually I did save up a lot of money. I did some trade bait and all of that. And I eventually got him back in my collection, which is in this case right here. And while I thought that this was gonna be the only pair that I would ever have, I ended up copying the reverse Mocha Lowe's, which is also a super fire colorway as well. I mean, yes, a lot of people are going to say that I'm a hype beast, that I just love it for the hype. I truly love the Travis Scott collaboration with Jordan Brand just because of what it means to sneaker culture. You know, a lot of people don't even really listen to Travis Scott and a lot of people don't really know too much about sneakers, but whenever people who aren't even sneakerheads see the Jordan 1s with the reverse swoosh, they automatically know for some reason that this is a Travis Scott and that this sneaker is super expensive. And because Travis Scott was able to literally change the direction of the swoosh on the sneaker, which remember, not a lot of collaborators could do, this is a huge impact on sneaker culture. So since I scored a W on sneakers and I have this in my hand, this is my third pair of Travis Scott's that I'm owning. And I cannot believe that I'm able to own three all in one collection. It's kind of insane. I'm not even showing off to you guys, but I think it's just crazy crazy how you know five years ago i didn't even have one and i've just dreamed of having something along the lines of a travis scott jordan one in my collection now the medium olives are really similar to the travis scott golfs that released last year they have that same olive and white color scheming however a major difference is obviously they're not golf sneakers so they do have the traditional traction pattern but in the golf pair they had i believe it was one black swoosh and then one white swoosh but this pair has black swooshes on both sides of the sneaker and actually this specific colorway of the jordan one is the lowest of all the travis scott collaborations that we have seen so far right now they're only reselling for about 450 maybe 500 on the market. Now it does seem like a lot, but for Travis Scott sneakers, you know, they typically go for $1,000, maybe a little less, maybe 900, but it's so rare to see a Travis Scott collab around the 400 or $500 range. If people wanted to pay resale for them, it would hurt a little bit, but definitely for a Travis Scott sneaker, it's certainly worth it. And the reason why it's so cheap is because it was rumored that a lot of pairs of these were going to drop. Now I know a lot of pairs were definitely backdoored. How they were able to get the, all those sneakers, I don't know how, but still like, it's just crazy how many of these pairs were produced. But still, this sneaker still sold out. A lot of people were actually taking L's on them, but just because so many of these pairs released to the public, this. Just just shows you how much the sneaker community truly loves the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. I mean, we just eat these things up and it's not something that's just gonna sit on shelves. This could literally either be a fire sneaker to add to your collection, or it could be a huge profit if you're trying to make a couple of bucks. Personally for me, I'm gonna be keeping these. Now, it, it honestly hurts to understand that, hey, if I keep these, I'm missing out on maybe 300 bucks of profit. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna make the same mistake that I made five or six years ago. I'm gonna keep these because these are just so 
freaking beautiful guys all right so starting off with the upper of the sneaker we do have a new buck construction on the toe box which is obviously in that olive colorway followed by a leather panel around the mudguard which is in that cream colorway actually this is pretty similar to the reverse mocha color scheming so instead of the mocha on the toe box we do have the olive this is actually very similar to a lot of different colorways that the travis scott jordan one lows have usually they have the base on the upper of the toe box and then they have that cream colorway around the mud guard now as we move to the tongue we do have that olive tongue as well followed by the Nike Air tongue tab which is in red on the side of the tongue we actually have the cactus jack logo which is super subtle but super nice now when you're wearing the sneaker and you have the tongue laced in you probably cannot even see that logo but still it's the little hints of branding that I just love at the end of the day now the laces that come with this sneaker are in flat white and I certainly do not even want this white colorway. I feel like it's too plain. They do come with additional laces. So the first one is this black color. All right, they come in black laces. And then the second one is in the pink colorway. It kind of upsets me a little bit that these don't come in cream because I feel like if they did come in cream, these would be an excellent complement to the rest of the sneaker. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to buy some cream laces, but I just wish that they came with them. And then as we move to the outer side of the sneaker, we do have the iconic signature reverse swoosh that Travis Scott is most well known for. Now the reverse swoosh is in this tumbled leather construction and it feels very nice. Now under the swoosh, we do have the olive green panel once again, which follows the trend of the rest of the shoe. And then moving over to the inner side of the shoe, this time we do have the classic Nike swoosh. It's not reverse or anything. It is also in that tumbled leather construction once again. Under it, we do have that olive green colorway again. However, if you look very closely underneath the black swoosh, we do have the Cactus Jack logo, which is printed in red right underneath. I love how it's in red because it kind of contrasts with the rest of the sneaker. It definitely does not blend in, but more so stands out. I always love when olive green and red are put together because it just really goes well nicely. And then as we go into the midsole of the sneaker, we actually have a cream midsole, which pretty much all the other Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows have, except for the Phantom Blacks, of course. But he's always using cream midsoles instead of all white. And then as we move to the back of the sneaker, we do have the Travis Scott logo on the back tab, which is stitched in, it's embroidered, super nice. And then we also have the eggshell cream colorway in the heel tab, as well as the back panel of the sneaker. Now the heel tabs on both pairs are mismatched like it is with the other Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows, but on the right pair, we actually have the Jordan 1 wings logo, which is embroidered in red as well. Again, this is super nice. The quality is on point. Ah, right, yeah, so it's at night and I was just looking at my sneaker wall and I was kind of admiring, you know, the Travis's I have and stuff like that. But there was one key feature that I noticed that's different from my reverse mochas and my medium olives. And you see that the Cactus Jack boy is sad, right? But on the medium olive pair, what does he have? A smile. No way. I, I mean, that's kind of crazy. You're never gonna know that if you don't have both sneakers or if you don't ever look too closely. But I literally just learned that they're kind of different. Not that big of a difference, but I, I thought it was really intriguing. All right, back to the video. Whoosh. Oh, and another thing I forgot is to show you guys the insoles as well. I'm not gonna take them out because it takes so much work to put them back in, but because they're unlaced, it makes it a whole lot easier to show you guys. So on the inside of the sneaker, we do have the red Jumpman logo followed by the Cactus Jack logo screen printed in white. That's on the left pair of the sneaker. On the right pair, on the insoles, we do have the Travis Scott logo. I think that this is written backwards, right, obviously. Yeah, it's written backwards. As we move up, we do have 
the Nike Air logo. And this is actually a little hard to see, but if you move past the Nike Air logo, you do have the Cactus Jack logo once again in white. So again, all that branding just to show you that this is a Travis Scott and Jordan 1 collaboration. But in looking at all the other Travis Scott Jordan 1 low colorways, I would have to put the medium olive somewhere at number three when ranking all of them based on how they look. Now, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, but I think the first one would have to be the reverse mochas. Number two is going to be the fragments. This is number three. I would have to put the original olives at number four, the original mocha lows at five, the phantom blacks, and then finally is the Elkins colorway. That one was kind of ugly. I didn't like those at all. Oh, and then somewhere there we'll put the, uh, the golfs. Probably that goes last because you know, people don't even like Jordan 1 low golfs. But there we have it. These are the Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows in the medium olive colorway. I love you so much. These are so nice. But that pretty much wraps up my video for today. Now I'd like to hear from you guys. Based on all the different Travis Scott colorways, what is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys wanna hear more from me, smash the subscribe button because more will be on the way. I'm serious guys, please, please, please subscribe. I would so very much appreciate it. And with that being said, these are the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's in the medium olive colorway. An insane sneakers W that I've gotten lately. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.